Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're just going to be doing another unboxing. So this came in to this weekend, actually. This, this, this game I'm going to unbox. And it came from AEG. It was something I've been waiting a short time for, maybe a longer than a short time, if I'm going to be honest. I've waited some time. And so the game that I'm going to unbox is... Uh, now this is a big box. It's got some weight to it. You can see how it just thuds on the table. Uh, it's Slenderstone Quest. Now this is the, the actual sequel. And I wish it would have said something like the, the barracks or something on it, because I think that's what it's supposed to be called. Uh, or at least having some other name, because people might get it confused with the other Thunderstone Quest that's, that was its predecessor. And so I have that, and I have this box here to, uh, to open up too. Also, I wanted to let you all know that I'm currently running a giveaway contest on my Facebook page. I will post that link to my Facebook page below. And so the contest is whoever can submit the funniest zombie meme to my Facebook page is going to be entered to win a copy of Dark Darker Darkest by Queen Games and the contest is going to be running until July 4th. That's when I decided to end that, that contest. And there's only a couple days left of another contest I already ran. So if you go to my previous video of the unboxing I did for Dinosaur Island, you can try to get entered in for a copy of You Gotta Be Kidding Me and Monster My Neighbor. But let's jump in and see what comes in this box. First things first, we have this here. And I've already kind of opened up the plastic, as you can see. So I'll just go ahead and take it all off. Now it's a white box here. Okay, so, it's actually a play mark for the game. So I'll move this big box out of the way so you can see it better. There we go. Isn't that kind of neat? Now, I think this is supposed to replace the board, but to me it doesn't seem like it's the right size. Here's the board. Uh, Thunderstone Quest. Alright, so as we look at this, It has the marketplace cards here instead of on the side. Back this up a little bit. So we have the marketplace cards here, and then we have slots here. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. And over here we have the guild quarters, and then we have four slots here. So if we go here, we see the guild quarters, and then four slots. And if we go up here to the bazaar, see the marketplace for this. I don't know why it's dashed out for. But then we have the bazaar where you would put the bread, lanterns, and holy water in. But the question is, how do you designate where those go here? Right? And obviously, look here, these have values. So I'm not quite sure, you know, why they did that. Why they didn't put the values, why they didn't at least put lines in here to separate the, the bread, the light, and the uh, holy water. They have the Arcane Shop of Wonders down here, which would be here for the treasure deck. So that's definitely neat. This is you may buy one treasure, and it's double sided. So one side looks kind of like a darker town, but you flip it over to the other side, and you have something a little bit better, brighter, vibrant. It's got four slots here, eight slots here, but then if you notice here, it doesn't have that same cutout or like you know dashed line. It just says the bazaar and the marketplace. So I like it, I just wish it was a little bit bigger. And also they have the temple down here. So I'm wondering if this box will contain a board as well. Because obviously this was additional. And I really enjoyed Thunderstone Advance. I haven't played Thunderstone, and I really enjoyed Thunderstone Quest. So there's a part of me that's actually really excited to play 
this new expansion. So here we go. If I can drag it over here, goodness gracious. Let's see if we can open it. There we go. I feel like I just popped. I just clipped my fingernails. I don't want to have to hurt myself to open this. There we go. Ta-da! Spun it around like magic. All right. So let's look at the back of this first. I love the artwork. I love the coloring. The color scheme is nice. Looks like some kind of cobalt there. Player boards, it looks like. Looks like a little bit different than originals. Well, no, there's the player board, and then there's something else here. Looks like some kind of supplement. So let's find out what that is. Look at that little rack there. I'm guessing it's some kind of like draconic creature or kobold of some kind. Yeah, I love how tight these things are. Alright, so there, see, barricades. I, I said barracks earlier, but it was barricades. So, barricades mode. I mean, look at that artwork there. It's like an ice giant or some kind. We got a goblin over here. Setting up for barricades mode. So it's a whole different way of playing all together, it seems like. Hmm. That's interesting. I wonder how much it changes the game. Again, look at this artwork. This, this book here is kind of heavy duty, look at that. I wonder if this is World Book and Quest Book. Okay, I was going to wonder if they had both the quests and the rules. Talks about the Guardians, Hive Mind, Hive Mind's Lair. Huh. Difficulty settings. Nice. And then there's the request book. Ooh, look at that. Imagine if you could find a miniature that looked like that. That'd be awesome. All right, so let's see. Okay, so here's some of these boards that I've seen. Divine Oracle, Illusionist, Bloodhound, Duelist. And so these look like classes. Arcane Order. Well, there's the marketplace. Town council member. Hmm. hmm. These are necromancer. These are pretty cool monster hunter. Well, I'm wondering if these are characters, like character dashboards, dashboards here. That's neat. All right. Battle mage, vampire coven. Town Guard, Treasure Hunter, and this should be a player board. Yep, there it is. So the way this looked in the, the back of the box is that you actually, yep, yeah, just like that, look at that. So that goes actually with it. Look at that. So there's two punch boards. Bazaar, marketplace, guild quarters. So it looks like it only came with two of those player boards. I wonder why. I'll have to check to see if that's how many it should have came with. And here's some stickers. That's odd. Heroes you level up in the village this turn may instead be leveled up as a spoils. Awesome. Oh my gosh. You're not going to see what you just want. What I just seen was. Look at this. Custom dice. Oh my. I got super excited when I seen these. Look at that. A whole bag of custom dice. Look at that. So cool. 
Oh, I mean, I'm even more excited now to get it to the table. There's quite a bit there. Some meeples, or those aren't really meeples. I wonder if those are like water or something. Because it kind of looks like a water splat or something, you know? And you have some obviously XP tokens. Okay, so why there are two of these boards? It's because this is to be played, I'm guessing, in addition to the, the other Thunderstone quest. Because this says in here, for one to six players. And so that's how they changed the game. They added two more players. So I do believe the other box says two to four players. Or maybe one to four players. It says two to four players. Yep. So they gave you the ability to solo, and they gave you the ability to play with six players. Interesting. Okay. So you have to have the base game if you want to be able to play with more players. Here's some more cement dungeon tiles. That's what these are. And then you have, these are new, the layers. Smorgas layer. Hive Mind's layer. Death Sentinel's layer. So that's neat. And there's the traditional wilderness. Okay, so you can check, so you can change out basically the wilderness. I wonder if the game allows you to put these layers in place of that instead of. That'd be cool. So let's put those back, and there's a couple more layers. Orogrom's layer, looks like an orc. Another hive mind's layer. You flip them over. And that's where those blue tokens go down there, because that's the way they're shaped. Okay. Interesting, interesting. So I will just throw this right back. Let's just go over there, because I think that's how it was. Let's pop into here. So, that goes there. So these here. Here, like that. I'll move those, I'll just leave those stickers there. Now this opens up. I like I like this about the the Thunderstone Quest games is like they're big, they're square, and they come with these handled box inserts, so you can just remove them. They come with two additional miniatures. Let's check these guys out. I'll zoom in. It looks like a monk, but it also looks like maybe a mage, but I do believe it's a monk. Alright. Let's check out this other one. Nice. Can't have six players without two more of those. You got a nice dice bag. Look at that. Looks like a cobalt footprint. It's kind of cheap. You can see kind of right through it. At least I can. Now you can too. See? Kind of cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. But oh, now there's the bulk of everything. Look at all these cards. Look, finally a giant rat. The vermin. What lies beneath. Now I'm not going to open these because I like to go through them in, in sequence. So Frozen in Time, there would be the first one. There's the second one. That is the Vermin Swarm. Elemental Vermin Swarm. Look at the artwork on it though. Frozen in Time number three. What lies beneath. Three. Frozen in Time 2. Barricades Mode. So there's the cards for those boards for the barricades. What, what, what lies beneath 1? 
Oh, there goes that. Quest 6 and 7 Epic Support. Hmm. Quest 6 and, six, quest six and 7 Epic Support again. And Barricades Mode 1. And then these should be the... Yep, the inserts. Ooh, look at that wound cards. That's that's nasty. Look at that. That's a gaping wound. Ugh. Player five starter cards. Guardian. So that's nice that they came with these because I don't think the other ones did. So, hey, that's what comes in a box of Thunderstone Quest Barricades. Thanks for tuning in. Remember about my other contests. And, you know, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Yeah.